Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEALs Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the big shell under complete control. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person, in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst-case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the Bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance.
The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. today or rather six get down Where is he? Are you? It has to be. 
Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Damn. Yeah, Queen? Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Uh. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian. A wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? 
And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? connecting bridge we need to get there can you handle it I need a few more minutes remember my frequency it's 141.80 141.80 got it I've been briefed on this plant's layout if you need information on the place or about dead cell contact me you're using nano communication right yeah but I can patch into your frequency Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness?
I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Nav Scoliot, Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is THE bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. Huh. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him, in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the Big Shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. I know the structure of this facility. And if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on Shell 1, another six on Shell 2, a total of 12 bombs at least. 
Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell, too. Take this. What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. The Big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Wrighton, your card key can open doors for security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You needed to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists, then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Ah! 
freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. I can't tell you how happy I am that you were alive after all. I knew this moment would come. Show yourself and finish me. Like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh, crap. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune, lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry, kill me, please. Our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes. This could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows? But he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomber now. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, his loyalty to Commander Jackson. All right. I'll take care of the wayward soul. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one, really. But he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later, then. Now! was meant for me. Why am I the only one that can't die? Alone again? Cheated out of death again? <laughs> How long will you force me to live? How much longer, Dad? You've punished me enough. You could give me peace. But you couldn't kill me either. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
There's no need for sorrow, Queen. I died once already. Them. I can't die twice. So you're the one. You're right on time, I see. I like a punctual man. Is he dead, Sal? I am Fat Man. I am the greatest that humanity has to offer. And the most. Can you hear it? Hear this rhythm? It's the rhythm of time. And life. Don't you follow me, Sal? I used to hang around department store clock counters. tell the time with every moment of their existence, and nothing else announces its own end with such a fanfare. Glad you could make it. The party's about to start. Oh. Yum. Good year. Let's drink the Stillman, shall we? If you destroy the big shell, you'll never collect your ransom. Ransom? What are you talking about? Thirty billion dollars in cash. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's going on. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you'll know soon enough. And I could care less what they plan to do. My ambitions are much more simple. To be the most famous bomber of them all. You're nuts! No one's gonna give a damn about you! Oh, yes, they will. I'll go down in history. As the man who beat Peter Stillman, that's the only reason I assisted them. Like hell you beat Stillman! He had your number! What did you say? You have nothing of his courage, or... <laughs> what are you laughing at? That croc died a dishonorable death six months ago! Six months ago? The liquidation of Dead Cell. Call it what you want. Only the right stuff survived that hell. Set me free, you know. Open the way to a new dimension. So that I can become the emperor among detonation devotees. You're nothing but a common criminal, and that's the only way people will ever remember. I fear you! I'm an artist! That is why I dislike boorish military types. It's time to start the party. This is how it works. I plant a bomb, and it'll explode soon after that. If you prefer to stay in one piece, you'll have to disable my bombs. Laugh and grow fat. Let's move! over for you. That's what you think. What do you mean? What did you just do? What is this? I have beautiful hands. These delicate hands can craft works of art. Answer me, what the hell is this? It's the switch for the biggest bomb in the entire place. Huh? Once it's activated, there's no stopping the count. Where did you plant it? Where is it? Somewhere in this area. 
don't worry, it's very close by. Where is it? Go ahead, shoot me, I'm already dead. Damn! Think you can find it? When it goes off, it'll take the big shell with it. Tell me where I can find the bomb! That's your problem. This is the highlight of the party. Bring it on, I say. They'll be happy, too. I die here and start my legend. Too bad you won't be around to see the movies. Laugh and grow fat. Are you with Foxhound, too? Neither enemy nor friend. Just a messenger from the Lali Rubelo. The hostages are being held in the B-1 conference hall, in the Shell-1 core. You'll find aims there. What does he look like? We don't know if it is indeed a he. I've never met this person either. How am I supposed to look for someone without even a description? Use your ears. What's that supposed to mean? Ames has a pacemaker. You'll be able to hear the machine sound in the heartbeat. You expect me to walk up to these hostages and listen to every one of their heartbeats? The sound is too minute to detect unamplified. You'd be captured immediately. So what am I supposed to do? Use the directional microphone. There's one somewhere in the core. Take this. The security guard will unlock all level 2 security doors, including the one into the core. It's called a PAN card. It works together with your body's own electronic field. And watch yourself. The core is more heavily guarded than any other section of the big shell. You'll get nowhere just like that. Try this instead. One of the terrorists? The surveillance camera won't let you on the elevator without the right uniform. You want me to disguise myself? Men assigned to the Corps and those on perimeter duty are given different colors to wear. Your new outfit will work in some areas, not others. The uniform alone won't fool them either. You're talking about weapons. Right, you need an AK. But I saw them carrying an AN-94. All men assigned to the Corps section carry AKs. So without an AK-74U, someone will see through me really quick. You could take care of the weapon issue yourself. One other thing. There's more? You'll also have to pass a retinal scan to get into the conference hall. Biometrics. Crap. Nothing but the real thing will suffice. Deception is not an option here. Metal Gear? The very same. Buy their own new favorite vehicle, Shadow Moses in free. This place is the R&D center for its newest incarnation. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Better ask games the rest. What's this for? You might be glad you have it. Keep the controller's vibration function on. What do I need a cell phone for? 